o'clock tonight, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inducts a whole new round of artists. The ceremony is at the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse this year for the first time ever. But items from all the inductees are on display right now in a new exhibit that's at the Rock Hall. The Hall of Fame has some incredible pieces from artists who make all kinds of music. But one piece that Jay-Z donated is going to catch your eye. We're going to go live to Nadine Abusada. She does not have 99 problems. The weather, though, and the temperature this morning appears to be one of them. A little bit chilly outside. Yes, Kevin, it is a little bit chilly outside, but it's not stopping these guys from preparing for that big ceremony tonight where you're going to see a lot of big names. But you talked about it. There were a lot of pieces that were donated by the inductees and the specific one that Jay-Z donated. I mean, it's something that words don't give it justice. You have to see it with your own eyes. It's not just tied to music, but it has a little Cajun flavor. I mean, it was unbelievable, man. It was really unbelievable. It's something you can't miss. 80 hours of work put, was put into this piece, man. That took days to create, leaving even the artist in shock. By me sitting here, um, looking at it when I came last Sunday when they opened up the exhibit, it was just mind blowing. It's the piece that Jay-Z donated to the Rock Hall of Fame as an inductee. The painting was inspired by the rapper in a lounge in New Orleans called Murrow's Treehouse. So when creating a piece, we wanted to get a piece that people really or flabbergasted by. So we were trying to think of um, an iconic figure um, to come up with so we could do like a tree theme. Then we all came up with the idea of doing Jay-Z. The painting hung in Murrow's treehouse for a few days, soon blowing up on social media. It was getting a crazy buzz. Little did they know that not even a week later, the man in the picture would soon want it for the Rock Hall of Fame. So by him, Picking this, this is priceless, man. It's priceless for me. It's like it's no cost. For Murrow, it was hard to let go of the art that found its place in his lounge, but he believes Jaron earned the spotlight not just for him, but also for the city of New Orleans. We're from a city with a lot of culture, um, a lot of dope artists, and I think you know Jaron would definitely be able to pave the way for so many artists back home because you know this is this is huge. You know Jay Z's acquired one of his pieces, so I mean that. <laughs> that, that, that does a lot. As Jaron is soaking it in, he says he can't wait for the moment that he finally gets to meet the model of his art. Man, I don't know, man. Um, I could have a plan for words, but I'm quite sure it's going to switch up once I get in that, that energy in that area of him. Now, we won't have Jay-Z for you, but you're going to hear from Jaron live at 10 a.m. on News Side, where we're going to talk about that piece, and you can see it. It's at the Rock Hall of Fame right now. Kevin, I'm going to keep scoping out to see if I see any big names out here, but I'm going to send it back to you. There are some sightings on Twitter over uh, the last few days and the last week, people all around Northeast Ohio. Thank you very much.